It's interesting to see the uh, condition that various interior sets come to us. We don't have automobiles here. We don't remove wood. We don't install it even here in Los Angeles. We get it sent to us from around the country, dealers and private people and shops and so forth and out of the country too. This might serve as a lesson of what to look for or this and another dash, what to look for if you were considering purchasing a used Rolls-Royce or Bentley, at least from the standpoint of the woodwork. This is a set of, da of a dash. Basically, it's the main fascia, the glove box, which is over here, and these two small fillers, the map light filler and the rectangular finisher, then a couple of console pieces. The doors, the vanities are not here. We did the doors for the customer. Customers got seven Rolls Royces. A number of them are, two or three of them are limousines, and we've done a lot of work on his cars. And he sent us this recently, and uh, I guess at some point in the past, he said we refinished his, his door caps, and hopefully it wasn't too long ago. But this might serve as what to look for or what you don't want to see in, in a Rolls Royce or Bentley wood interior. And this is one version of problems, this kind of uh, checking. And in this case, they're horizontal lines. And on this glove box lid, it's just riddled with these shrinkage lines as this filler piece. And this is probably the most original piece in the car. It's cracking, it's got some chips and so forth, but what you would expect from an aged set of burl would be this, where you could still see the burl, even though somewhat muted through the old finish. You would have a bit of contrast and that color, yeah, that kind of yellow, orange, amber color from the aged finish. But this, this is fairly typical. These three pieces are not, and there's some question about the dash. But clearly, something has happened to these wood pieces in the history of this car. It's a late shadow, that is Shadow 2 from 1977 to 1980. How serious is that is the question if you were considering to purchase a car like this. At first, it, well, it indicates something went wrong during the history of the car. But how seriously wrong? It's probably a coating that was put on over the factory finish. So in other words, they haven't, this is my speculation at this point, whoever did this, they didn't remove the old finish, which is probably a plus, or certainly a plus, because where you, you get into problems with, with Rolls Royces or anything that's veneered is the thickness of the veneer. And if somebody's working on those parts that doesn't know what they're doing, sanding through the veneer is a real, consider, I mean, is a real possibility. And that's where you get into a lot more serious problems than merely coating the outside of the finish. And I believe that's what this is. This is like a varnish that somebody put on and over some period of time, it shrank heavily. And I don't think it did any permanent damage to the wood underneath, but when we strip it, we'll find out. So it'll be interesting to come back and compare one of these refinished versus one not refinished. And you'll see a dramatic change because you can barely see any wood under that film. And what the whole point of this, of the, of the decorative burl, is to see that wood. Another shadow dash, this is also a shadow too, is worth considering, or it's instructive, let's put it that way. And it isn't the break here. That break happened in shipping and is really a red herring when it comes to what I want to talk about. This dash came out of a car that was in Florida. The owner, the purchaser, was, is Canadian and purchased the car. I assume he saw it, but I don't know. The dash was sent to us as a color sample for making a custom steering wheel for the owner. And that dash, the, pardon me, that wheel happened to be the wheel that was highlighted in the uh, show how it's made. This, even though it's got gloss and even though it doesn't come have this riddling and some of the discoloration here, this is a very suspicious dash. It immediately tells me there's been a, 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 a sorrowful history that's gone on with it. And we can look at a few things. And again, this might be instructive if you were considering buying a car and you saw something like this in it, it might not immediately raise any concerns for you. But hopefully after viewing this and, and seeing the analysis, you'll be better prepared to buy your next Rolls or Bentley. What I would come to expect from seeing this car would be something a bit like this in color and grain. You see, even though they're muted, you see distinct lines in here and shapes and, and 
uh, grain contrast. What you see here has some gloss. We'll talk about the quality of that gloss a little bit later, but what concerns me the most is it lacks any of the activity of the burl that you would typically see, even under this heavily muted uh, finish. This, this right now looks like it's got no figure whatsoever, and, or very little, but it's the aged finish that's inhibiting that figure from coming out, from popping the contrast. This doesn't have exactly that problem, but what it does have is even more disconcerting are these dark blotches, black brown blotches that were are not wood figure. Those were put in by airbrushing by someone who had created some problems of sanding through the veneer, of chipping it, of dealing with the veneer, and now they went back to try to hide these areas with some kind of blotch. It's not a grain. You look at this, 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 and this, there's no grain there. It's just a discoloration. So this, this dash is probably the most seriously problematic, aside from the fact that it's broken. But again, that's not what we're addressing here. This, if we're in the car, I would suggest that you not get the car based upon the wood at least. It's workable. I mean, this can be re-veneered, the dash can be re-veneered and refinished and be beautiful. But taking it as a factory original, it's, it's in a sorrowful state. All this dark area and these fillers, I mean, we could go on. There's a, there's a tongue under here, as you can see on this dash. And that tucks in as it's installed like this behind a leather strip and behind a leather strip over here. On this dash, that tongue is so filled with resin that you can't even distinguish that there's a tongue there. Other parts, you see scratches, you see dimples down here where it hasn't been leveled properly. You see areas in these, these cutouts. These are plywood dashes. And these cutouts are painted by the factory and by refinishers and so forth. Here's a good example right here. So it's chipping out, but there's plywood under that and there's plywood under this. So these are painted, but as you'll get to see some close-ups, the paint isn't even and doesn't cover everything. You can see areas where there are big holes in the, in the finish shrunk in right here. Filler, not original. More airbrushing in right in here. There's no grain there. That's just a blotch of color. All in an attempt to hide the problems that this person was having. This car, the wood in this car had been refinished before it was sent to us by somebody in Florida, presumably. On the back side, now you wouldn't normally be able to see the back side once it's installed, but since it's not installed, you can see further evidence of shoddy workmanship. All kinds of drips around here. That's not a good thing. It indicates kind of a substandard spraying ability. But beyond that, nobody did anything after the fact to clean it up. You know, when you deal with somebody that doesn't have enough concern for their work, pride or whatever you want to call it, you know straight through the whole thing, it's flawed at every possible turn. More dripping, more dripping, more dripping. If you could even fit this back into the car. There's a rabbit, a small rabbit for a gauge here that's got filled parts here from, from the dripping. There's supposed to be a wood finisher piece right here, solid wood, that you can see on the end when the glove box is open. So the glove box normally is here, you open that, you can see this edge. There's supposed to be a piece of solid mahogany here that's painted on the edge. There's a spacer missing on the back here. Again, you wouldn't know that if the piece were installed in the car. Taking this other dash, you can see that filler piece of mahogany. That's missing on this dash. The spacer that keeps it the appropriate distance from the, from the metal dash is missing on this one also. In other words, that car, that wood has been butchered. Uh, so it, it would lead me to think that anything else done to that car was suspect also. So hopefully seeing this applique of finish and seeing what's gone on under, this is probably a much safer car because I think none, nothing's happened to the wood as of yet. This car has already gone over the edge. 
So again, next time you're looking for a Rolls or Bentley, consider the wood. It should have a general family resemblance as far as color. It should have a similar gloss. It should generally look like it belongs together. Aged, chipped, that's okay. You expect that in a car with some age. So we'll be back. This, this dash will not be refinished, but we will refinish this and bring back and compare what it looks like after finishing.